Now at 10, the race against time. Investigators are urgently searching for the body of Suzanne Simpson. Meantime, the DA's office is working to build a murder case against her husband, Brad Simpson. And tonight, one of their lead prosecutors is giving us insight into another high profile case with similarities. Kids 5 reporter Megan Reyna is live outside the DA's office. So Megan, he says as time passes, it gets more complicated. Yes, Henry, but he is not working on this Brad Simpson case and would not talk about it, but he did discuss the Andreen McDonald case where her husband was convicted of manslaughter for killing her in 2019. He says it stemmed from domestic violence. I think McDonald in its root was about domestic violence and uh, we've learned just, you know, as my 20 years in the office, I'm talking to various family violence experts, the most dangerous time uh, for somebody being abused is when they're trying to leave that situation. February 2019, that's the last time family members were in contact with Andreen McDonald. Just days later, the Bear County Sheriff's Office began an urgent search suspecting foul play. Her husband, an Air Force major, was arrested for tampering with evidence. But Stephen Spear, an assistant district attorney, says there was evidence early on indicating Andre had harmed his wife. Her blood was found inside the residence. We also found that her, her purse uh, was still at the house. We found that an area in the back where something had been burned. But it wasn't until July 11th, five months later, when a man searching for cow bones on a private property found Andreen's remains. Andre was then charged with murder. The remains of Andre and McDonald, when they were found, were largely skeletal, and it would it's difficult for the medical examiner to definitively say what caused her death. Ultimately, a jury found Andre guilty in 2023 of manslaughter, not murder. Andre himself taking the stand, testifying that he and his wife got into a fight after he threatened to file for divorce and that he didn't realize when he shoved and kicked her on the ground, she had died. But Spear believes the jury had doubt because the medical examiner couldn't determine how Andreen died. Obviously, the more time uh, that passes, the more evidence could be you know, either disappear or be altered. Uh, so, you know, for example, if it is that somebody who has been murdered, their body may be decaying. But Spear points out each murder case is different. Right now, the district attorney believes they have probable cause that Brad Simpson killed his wife, Suzanne. Spear says even if they don't have a body or know how Suzanne died, with enough circumstantial evidence, they can still bring the case before a jury. I think sometimes people hear the word circumstantial and it almost has a negative connotation to it. The great majority of all cases proven throughout criminal law are circumstantial cases. And when I did ask about the Simpson case, he had a simple answer. As in any one of our cases, that we're always seeking justice for our victims. And according to online records, just today, Brad's public defender filed a motion for an examination trial, meaning he wants a judge to go over the evidence they have so far to see if it's enough to go before a grand jury for an indictment. Brad does remain in the Bear County Jail with bonds totaling $3 million. Reporting live downtown, Megan Reyna, Kins 5.